Hello everyone. At the end of this video, you should be able to describe qualitatively the molecular structure of solids, liquids, and gases, relating their properties to the forces and distance between the particles and to the motion of the particles. I shall not attempt to elaborate more on this learning objective. You just have to first make sure you can describe the molecular structure of solids, liquids, and gases. Warning! This is the most challenging part for this topic, and students often have difficulties understanding this part. So I do need your full attention for the next few minutes. The molecular structure for each state of matter is based on the kinetic model of matter you have learned earlier. The molecular structure of the matter allow us to account for the physical properties of each state of matter. For example, the molecular structure of solid allows us to explain why solids have high densities. When we talk about molecular structure, we are interested in the arrangement of particles and the movement of particles in the matter. Note that there are attractive forces between the particles. We call them chemical bonds in chemistry. The arrangement of particles and the movement of particles for each state depends on how strong the attractive forces between the particles are. The diagram at the bottom left-hand corner of the slide shows the particles for a substance in solid, liquid, and gaseous state. Note that it is a pure substance. We always assume it is pure unless the question says that it is impure. The shaded circles represent the atoms or molecules of the substance. Since it is a pure substance, there is only one type of atoms or molecules. So, if you are asked to draw this diagram, do make sure all your circles are about the same size. In case you wonder, what's in between all these particles? It's just empty space, nothing there. For solid, particles are closely packed, usually in a regular pattern and occupying minimum space. They vibrate about their fixed position and they do not move around freely. The particles are held together by very strong attractive forces that between them. For liquids, particles are randomly arranged with the particles slightly further apart than in solid state. They are free to move about within the liquid and the liquid particles are held together by attractive forces between the particles. But the attractive forces is weaker than in solid state. For gas, the particles are randomly arranged and are very far apart from one another. They move around randomly at high speeds and occupy any available space that they have access to. The particles are held together by very weak attractive forces between the particles. This slide summarizes the points in the previous three slides. Note that the forces of attraction between the particles are the strongest between the solid particles and the weakest between the gas particles. And that the distance between the particles is the smallest in solids and the largest in gas. We have gone through quite a bit of content in this video. Before you move on to the next video, please look at the learning objective again. There are two parts for this learning objective. First part, you must be able to describe 
the molecular structure. You should be able to do so after watching this video. Second part, relate physical properties to the molecular structure of the three states of matter. You'll learn how, no, you'll learn how to do this in class. We have come to the end of this video and thanks for your undivided attention.